assalamu alaikum my name is ikra tahir i am from fifth professional and my roll number is bp1650093 my topic is cholera vaccine cholera vaccine is a sterile suspension of killed vibrio cholera selected for high antigenic efficiency in a suitable dilute it consists of the mixture of the equal parts of suspension of cholera vibrios of the enaba and ogawa strain vaccines may not fully protect everyone who receives them for first 6 months they provide about 85% protection which decreases to 50 to 65% in first year after 2 years the level of protection decreases to less than 50% when enough of the population is immunized it may protect those who have not been immunized some rational use of cholera vaccine are it is used to prevent cholera infection caused by a certain bacteria people can get infected by eating food or drinking water that has been contaminated with that bacteria this vaccine is recommended for adults who are traveling to areas where this infection is common irrational uses are uh, there are no irrational uses of cholera vaccine alternative brands are vesfora a single uh, dose oral vaccine to prevent cholera for travelers As of June 2016, Vexcora was the only FDA-approved vaccine for the prevention of cholera. The Vexcora vaccine can cost more than two fifty dollars. Other trade names of cholera vaccination are Ducoral, Shenkol, and Uvicol. Plus, there is no any alternative choice. Dosage form: Oral suspensions are available after reconstitution, hundred ml following reconstitution. constitution supplied as a foil packet of buffer and an accompanying foil packet of the active component some side effects common side effects of cholera vaccine includes injection site reactions skin redness hardening of the skin pain and tenderness that may last few days general feeling of being unwell headache fever diarrhea nausea vomiting abdominal pain or cramps now we have a case study related to the cholera vaccination there is a patient who is 27 years old he was infected with the bacteria uh, by eating contaminated food and water or by drinking water after watermelon after 24 to 48 hours some symptoms begin with the sudden onset of painless watery diarrhea that quickly become voluminous and is often followed by vomiting its main symptoms are vomiting and diarrhea because of this disease severe dehydration can occur he vomits if he eats and drink if he eats and drink anything after a day his color become pale yellow and he become weak due to dehydration In the first day of infection, he drank some uh, rehydration solutions, but it was not very effective. He also felt severe pain in stomach. He experienced accompanying abdominal cramp, probably from distension of loops of a small bowl, bowl as a result of the large volume of intestinal secretions. Fever is typically absent. Diagnosis. Doctor advised him for the test of CBC, ESR, and stool test to identify cholera bacteria. Doctor checked the report properly and gave him first line of therapy. Treatment: He became bluish and weak due to loss of water and lo uh, lost his weight and was of 58 kgs only at that time. After checking all aspects, doctor prescribed him diamond hydronate tablet for vomiting twice a day before the meal. New gram tablets. Ciprofloxacin 500 mg once a day antibiotic to prevent diarrhea. Metronidazole 40 mg twice a day and rehydration solution. After a one day therapy, cholera was little bit a little bit cured by oral therapy, but due to large amount of water loss from the body, patient's condition was not so well. He became weak and pale yellow in color. Thus, doctor admitted him in clinical clinic because there was lot of water loss from the body due to vomiting. Doctor injected him an infusion, metronidazole, and a ringer solution, thousand cc, with adding diamine hydronate injection and ciprofloxacin injection, five hundred mg. He also advised him to take the same as described above medicine again, 
After a six to eight days treatment, patient recovered completely, but weakness retained for a few days after eating food and fruits with high caloric uh, values. He became healthy. He recovered completely after seven days medication. During treatment, some clinical problems were reported due to medication, headache, temperature elevation, stomach irritation due to antibiotic treatment. Discussion. Deadly disease called cholera is caused by eating contaminated food and water. The primary cause of this syndrome is an enterotoxin. In a stool specimen, Vibrio cholera can easily identify it by its characteristics, yellow colonies. Physicians think that Vibrio only grow in associated with salt water. In most cases, cholera can be successfully treated with oral rehydration therapy, which is highly effective. An effective and relatively cheap method to prevent the transmission of cholera is to drink purified water and uncontaminated food. Cholera is an acute secretory diarrheal illness caused by toxin producing a strain of gram negative bacteria, Vibrio cholera. Severe cholera is characterized by profound fluid and electrolyte loses in the stool and rapid development of hypovolemic shock, often within 24 hours from the initial onset of vomiting and diarrhea. Conclusion. This case reported demonstrated the infection caused by bacteria cholera. Its symptoms are vomiting and diarrhea because of which water loss from the body and dehydration can occur. Due to excessive loss of water from body, patient may feel weak and death can also occur if not cured. Antibiotic use for its treatment, anti-emetic and anti-diarrheal are also used. Rapid test is tool test used for its diagnosis. By using antibiotics, some clinical problems can also occur. Some preventive measures can also occur. Some preventive measures are also used to prevent the disease. Its main, its main prevention can be take rehydrated solution, avoid eating contaminated food, drink boiled or purified water. There are some drug interactions also. Cholera vaccine and yellow uh, fever vaccines within three weeks of each other may result in decreased levels of antibody response to both vaccines. However, there is no evidence that uh, protection to either disease is diminished following simultaneous administration. It is uh, currently recommended that when feasible, cholera and yellow fever vaccines should be administered at a minimal interval of three weeks. Unless time constraint preclude this, if the vaccines cannot be administered at least three weeks apart, they should be given simultaneously. There's no antidote for cholera, uh, cholera vaccine. Thank you.